from the upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you very well. You look fabulous. Amazing dress. So just ever so briefly, because I know it's a very hard one to summarise, what can people expect from the Sandman, in particular your character? OK, so from the Sandman, I think you can expect an epic, sort of hallucinogenic, beautiful, dark fantasy. Uh, and from my character, I think you can expect uh, a very sort of subverted idea of death, different to anything you've ever seen in popular culture. And were you already familiar with the comics? And, you know, how much, what was the appeal of adapting these, but maybe some of the challenges as well? Uh, I was familiar. I'm a big fan of the Sandman, and so I think that was actually kind of gave me a bit of a cheat sheet when it came into this character. Hi, Pete! Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> um, OK. Uh, the other question was... Um, uh, yeah, what, some, what was the appeal of the challenges? Um, I think the challenge comes, you know, we're, this is not your run-of-the-mill role. You're not just playing, you know, Sally, who's 29 from New Jersey. You know, you're playing, essentially, you're playing a concept. Um, so that is a challenge, how you sort of give humanistic life and humanistic qualities to something that is sort of a very nebulous concept. Um, and I also think that, that part of the challenge is both honouring what has come before in the comics, because, you know, there are fans that have been with this since it was made in, made in 1989. And then, oh, sorry, and then I'm very easily distracted. Um, and then the other uh, challenge, I think, is also bringing something new to it and, and going, this is my spin, this is Neil's reimagination of reimagining of this comic and how do we present something new and fresh? And, you know, what I love about this is, it's, you know, it's such a fantastical, work, fantastical world, but it's an incredible ensemble cast. And, you know, there's such diversity in it and, and so many amazing female characters. So you think that's one of the pluses of, you know, adapting things like this at this time, is that they can do that? Um, I think if you actually look at the Sandman, if you're a fan of the Sandman, you'll see that Neil has always been on the forefront of sort of... Uh, showing people that may not have been shown. I mean, before I read The Sandman, I think The Sandman was my first ever introduction to a non-binary person, because that is who Desire is. So if you look at it, it's kind of no surprise to fans of The Sandman and people who know Neil's work that he would continue on that path of sort of shining a light and, and showing things and, and, and sort of, you know, being a bit of a uh, trailblazer. <laughs> and it's such, you know, an epic series. What was it like being on some of these sets? And then also seeing, you know, post-production it all come together. Well, I'll be honest, my set was Richmond Park for the most part. So we were walking around a very normal place. Um, but it was amazing. Actually, my, one of my favorite days on sets was I got to, we were on the set stage and before they broke the set down, I got to visit Hell, what was the Hell set. And if, if and when you see that episode, you will see how epic it is. So that was probably the highlight of it. And what do you hope people take away? And has it changed your particular view on dreams? Uh, it has changed my idea of dreams. This role has changed my idea of death. And I hope people take away, I think, I hope the, the takeaway is, and I, and, I, and I do believe that this series is very hopeful. So I think that I hope that is the takeaway. Can you tell us what you might be working on next quickly? Uh, you know, I have a kid's book that comes out on November 15th. I wrote a children's book. I wrote two, actually. One's called Little Black Girl, Oh, the Things You Can Do, and the other is called Little Black Boy, Oh, the Things You Will Do. So I'm really excited about sort of venturing into a whole new world and being a children's book author. So, yeah, that's next. That's fabulous. Well, thank, thank you so much for sharing that. Let's enjoy the evening. Thank you. Cheers.